In this year's Geneva, it feels like we're um, a couple of years ago when uh, every family or, or every city that had the knowledge how to do with iron and with wood uh, would make its own coaches. Uh, and now everybody that has um, the ability to, to make the electric car and that has the feeling for design um, and has a good investor um, can make a, a great looking car with, with powered with electric, uh, electric um, wheels that, that drives you very fast. Um, is that why the, the Chinese investor came to you to, to give you a chance to provide them with something that they don't know? Uh, let's say collaboration with Chinese is based on the uh, win-win situation. They have the needs to go in production very fast mm -hmm. and they need the know-how to do it. And uh, uh, here in Italy with IDEA Institute, we invested three years ago to really understand the principle, what does it mean to make an electric car. I mean, we don't want to put electric motor inside an existing car. We want to create from the beginning. Mm -hmm. We want to find every corner of efficiency we can came out from a car. Uh, this is the reason why three years ago we invest to develop a modular platform from small and medium vehicle, from 2.9 up to 4.5 meters. Uh, we define weight distribution, dynamics, specification of single components in order to reduce the weight, you reduce the energy, but keep the same performance. Uh, along this uh, uh, investment we have done, we start to present our platform Chinese market where the, the Chinese government was uh, releasing fund to Chinese company, new Chinese company, to go in production as fast as possible. Uh, IDEA is on the market in 40 years and we know exactly how to design and realize a car. But uh, offering as well a traction system, a powertrain system already existing, set up with specification and dynamics will make it things uh, life much easier for Chinese. And when the Chinese can make the life easier, they are happy. <laughs> uh, for this reason, the Luci in the specification understood uh, our capability to go in production quite fast. And we start uh, our first collaboration. This is Luci Venere, uh, started the engineering last uh, July. And then step by step, uh, we start to come together much more to exchange ideas, program and uh, industrial planning. Uh, we arrived to constitute a new company of Luci Italy, that is a uh, web CEO and where we manage all the operation, uh, operation of Luci as R&D center. In this moment we are in developing the Venere, who will go in production in 2019 in Turin. But as well we are developing their city car they will produce in China that will go in production uh, end of 2019 as well. Uh, so the, the main reason is that we were finding, searching for industrial partner and they were searching for know-how to release production as fast as possible. Italy has great knowledge about cars, have some great cars, great manufacturers, uh, also beautiful looking cars. Um, but in the past, you had to prove yourself. It's not just about the beauty or how fast does it go. Um, you needed to, to make commercials. You, um, you should go or have a car in the movie. Um, you should have like a car in every segment of the racing as well. Um, and that was the brand awareness that, that was growing with every brand in Europe so far or in the States as well. Um, how do you do it with a brand new car? With, with, you, know, you know what I'm saying? With, with something that you build up from basically from, from scratch. Uh, when we started the engineering uh, at Luci of this car, uh, we set up a very clear principle. First we prove and then we talk. And uh, we started our serious development uh, uh, last July and then we decided to come here to start to show in advance the car. But uh, uh, we didn't want to come with a static concept on ideas, uh, unveiling uh, unrealistic uh, performance. Uh, we decided to come here with a vehicle who had already passed test and be certified by third parties. And this is the case of this uh, first running prototype of Venere. This is a, you are seated in a very nice and comfortable car, but this is a development prototype. Uh, two weeks ago, we gave this car to the CSI in Milan, the testing company. Uh, we let the car four days to make uh, their test and we got uh, certification of acceleration, maximum speed and driving range. Mm -hmm. This is because we are new on the market and we need to be reliable. And we want to be different by other new entry company. 
They certify 2.5 seconds 0-100, uh, maximum speed of 286 km per hour. And uh, we got uh, a result from an NDC test for a uh, Ranger with one charge of 652 km. And these are facts. Uh, I mean, this car needs uh, to complete its normal development because we have to set up all the quality process for the production. We have to finalize tests for passive safety. Uh, it's a o normal ongoing production. We decided to come here. We didn't want to break something fake because as new, as Chinese, we need to be immediately reliable. And that's as a result why we are here and this car is uh, full running and, and, and working. I mean, the only things we have to integrate is a passive safety system that is under development. But for that we need physical test and time. That's the reason why we will complete and we will start the production in October 2019. Okay, that, that was my next question, obviously. When do you expect the, the production and will the cars be driving on the European roads? The car will be worldwide homologation. We will be following the homologation for the car below the 5,000 units per year because we expect... Uh, so uh, it's, it's not just um, to, to have the car shown at the, um, at the Geneva Motor Show uh, no, and, then, and then to sell the technology? No, no, no. no. This is uh, a Luch car it, who will go in production. It will be produced uh, uh, in Turin where the car is designed, manufactured and engineered. Uh, it's a, a lot of innovation because it's a first four-door, four-seat limousine coupe fully in chassis in carbon fiber. So you are seated on a typical chassis for a, a Pagani or a Koenigsegg, mm -hmm. anyway, a high-speed uh, um, and performing car. Uh, but inside a very comfortable seat. Basically because we give a race performance. We want to keep the power on the road with the right tooling. So the chassis is a kind of architectural suspension, but at the same time, electronic allowed us to give the right comfort inside. Uh, this target, this vehicle is set as a marketing target to search customer of uh, Panamera and Maserati Quattroporte who likes to have alternative in electric mm -hmm. that today they miss. They don't go to Tesla because it's one level down, so we are not in competition mm -hmm. with Tesla. We are uh, a limousine over the five meters, uh, and we are not expecting to, to raise all that uh, volume because we expect 300, 400, 500 cars per year, so no more than two per day. Thank you very much for your time. It was a pleasure. Thanks. Thank you.